no way that I'm only half lesbian. The way that I just contemplated for two nights, like this was a thought in my head for two nights straight, whether or not I should buy an entire plane ticket and fly to another city for one night to casually link some girl that I used to talk to that without her knowledge that this would even happen, crazy. Buying a plane ticket to cross state lines to eat is full-blown lesbian activities. She pretty too. Y'all be taking all the pretty ones. Fellas, you ever been walking in the mall and then you seen a chick and she bad. Bow, bow. Face all. And you like, damn, she fine as hell. And then you see the five two stud little boozy look alike pop out from behind her, looking like a stunt double for the wipe me down video, grilling everybody. I don't ever understand it. Chicks be like, oh, I don't date short men, you too short. But then be dating studs half they size. Is the tongue lashing that serious? I don't want to have expensive things. I don't want a man who buy me like a lot of stuff. What I literally wa want to have is like, I just saw two people in a park. They sharing a noodle box together. That was so cute. It's like 10 p.m. They sitting there sharing their boxes and just like eating a meal in a park. Oh my God, that's so adorable. I want, I want to have that too. <laughs> you know, I see all these videos of women talking about what they want when it comes to relationships and just being in love. But I think the problem is you have too many choices. She's a beautiful woman. Why can't she have that? I'm pretty sure men throw themselves at her. So... Instead of telling us what you want, you need to ask yourself, why don't you have that? What's going on? When I see attractive women complaining about men, I don't want to hear it. Now, unless you're telling me that you was in a committed relationship and a motherfucker cheated on you, then that's a little different. But if you're saying, I'm single, I can't find the right person, you have about four or five you talking to in your phone, and you leading them all on, I don't want to hear it, man. Because that's what be going on. Y'all just be talking. Some of y'all might have a problem with me saying this, but I do feel as though the problem right now, people have too many options. Y'all, how angry do you think my husband's gonna be when he finds out that I need him to change the way he did this? So, I just noticed that, you see the way these are spaced apart right here? Well, he, these are closer. I don't know why he bought this one that has the closer, um... Honor. railing pieces but I wanted it all to look like this um I don't know he's done five so far um there's the rest of them down there another case of somebody being ungrateful he can take those back I guess but I don't know how hard it is gonna yeah, be yeah. just take the screws out of there and replace it but it's not that I'm ungrateful that he's doing this it's just that like here you can see I, I don't know why I the one I saw had all the same size like this I'm not happy with the way it looks like this would y'all be mad if I was your wife yes and yes I asked you to redo this yes it just bothers me um yeah He's going to have to redo this. Yes. Oh, well. Let's see. This is why them white men be cheating on their business trips. Because of shit like that. There's nothing wrong with it. It just bothers her. I'm grateful my wife not like that. You know, she have her moments. Don't don't get me wrong. I ain't, you know, all y'all do. But in a situation like that, I feel as though her gratefulness that I actually did the job will outweigh her being picky. Is this how Karen's be in the house? Because this is Karen activity also. We're getting too old to be dealing with people that still deal with, you know, street stuff, guns and drugs and jail time and lawyers and stuff. You need to be getting you some W-2 money. You need to be doing some taxes. And you need to have a good job. Because that hood shit is played out. And... 
friends. Ladies, you are not wrong for feeling that way. Stand on it. Make Crazy thing is, and I don't want to judge a book by its cover, but I'm pretty sure that she only go for her. I wouldn't be surprised if she only date hood dudes. And it seems as though uh, one of the might have got on your nerves and now you're doing a video like this. But I could be wrong. But at the same time, you are 100% right in what you're saying. When I watch Beryl, I tell her I'm going to see Beryl. Oh God, I got to five. I ain't going to lie, she think it's that. <laughs> She thick as hell, boy. That boy said that's a category five. It, it definitely, it definitely is something. Make these bums get a life. Go in a house. Y'all don't even have houses. Go to your mama house and create a new business plan because it's not in no more, fellas. Grow up. <laughs> Bro. I'm doubling down on what I said before. That shit sound personal. That sound personal. I don't know who did it, sis, but it created a positive message out of it. Listen, man, if you 20 plus, dog, because it's a lot of young guys right now in their 20s, the streets is their religion, and they don't understand the consequence of that. I'm going to explain the consequences of being a street nigga. You being in the streets, you risk dying, you risk going to jail. Let's start off with dying. When you die, bro, I know you think your, your mans and them got you, but they really don't. When you die, you know who got to take care of your funeral? Your family. When you die, you know who got to pick up the rest of those pieces? Your family. I know a lot of street dudes don't have a father that result in some of these young boys trying to find love in the street. You don't have your father, but you have your mother, and your mother raised you. The way you repay is going in the streets. You're not even going to be here to repay your mother for raising you and taking care of you. Let's say you don't die and you go to jail. Now you got a felon. There's ways that felons, having a felony, especially if it's something you could avoid, having a felony is probably one of the worst things you can do. A felony follows you. A felony is like a brand. That follows you. It makes people prejudge you before they even got to know you. That's why it's so easy for the police to pick on rappers. I want you to think about it, right? Most of these rappers have felonies, which means that they shouldn't be owning pistols. They should not be around guns. But they find themselves in so much street shit that in order to protect themselves, they need to have guns. So the way the police look at it is, if I pull him over, I know he got a gun on him. That's an easy case for me. A felon in possession of a firearm. To leave the streets alone, bro. Nothing wrong with getting W-2 money. I still know it's a few of y'all that watch these videos religiously that aren't subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And make sure you got the notification bell selected to all. That way you can get all the notifications when I upload these videos. Stop playing with me. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get right. He's shiny man. Hold on, bro. Did this man just watch the bullet? He just watched the bullet. He's shiny man. He's shiny man. You sound disappointed. All that for What kind of hood superpower is that? I just finished talking about the streets and then this pop up. That is crazy. Um, I don't got no comment, bro. This man watched the bullet hit his house. That's final boss activity, bro. Hey, like, hey, I don't think you understand what I asked you. I'm asking you, is that bacon? Are you about to use that bacon on my sandwich? Because that's not fresh. I, I didn't see you take that out of a pack. Huh? Fresh, fresh. Show it to me. That container, that's not fresh bacon. Wait, hold on, bro. Am I tweaking? Hold on, let me, let me read this. You asked for fresh bacon at the deli, and Pedro pulls out a batch from yesterday. And then he started singing as I walked out. Uh, my boy, I don't know about y'all, but corner stores fry their bacon the night before. Now, it's certain situations where they would fry the bacon in front of you. But usually that's if they run out and now they got to redo them. You didn't take that out of a pack because I don't want that. I don't mean fresh like you just made it. I mean like I didn't see you take it out the pack. It's cooking yesterday. Wait, what? It's cooking yesterday. You hear that shit? I want my... Okay, so never mind. I don't want it because my bacon cannot come out the pack. I'm not eating that. Hey. It 
it depends what corner store you go to and you act like that. See, when I was growing up, we had certain corner stores that we really f with the niggas that worked behind the counter. So if we was in there and you was acting like a diva like that, we'd have robbed you outside of the store. That's diva activities, bro. I ain't see you take it out of a pack in front of me, nigga. Are you serious? Like, are you dead ass? The reason why I feel the way I'm feeling right now is because I've seen the transition of how people at the corner store started treating motherfuckers after encounters like this. 